Hey everyone and welcome back to another virtual pottery video. Today we're going to make an autumn leaf plate. The supplies you're going to need are clay, a rolling pin, under glazes preferably in some fall colors, some leaves that you find outside, a plate mold, and a knife to cut with. The first thing I did was roll out my slab. You always want to let your slabs dry out just a little bit before you work with them, usually, but this time I'm going to be slumping it into a slab, into a mold, so I want it to still be a little bit more pliable than usual. So I'm just rolling it out a little bit more and thinning it out and smoothing out the texture on it. I use the slab roller so I have that icky canvas texture on it. So once I roll it out um, and clean off that texture, um, then I'm going to decide which leaves I want to use. So I gathered a bunch of leaves from the oak tree that had fell on the ground. And I'm going to pick some different sizes and different shapes. Some of them have little imperfections where chunks of the leaf is missing, which I really, I really enjoy. I think it's pretty cool looking. So I'm going to alternate the sizes and the shapes and I'm going to lay them out how I want them on the plate. And then I'm going to take that tiny roller and carefully roll those leaves deep into the slab. Now if you just wanted the impression of the leaves, you could take them off at this point and then slump your slab, but I want to paint some underglazes and use those leaves as a resist for the underglazes. So I picked fall colors. I've got some orange, uh, some yellow, some red, and some brown. And I'm going to paint the different colors onto the slab. Now because I didn't let my slab dry out at all, the underglaze isn't really absorbing into the clay. It's really um, difficult to get it to go on there evenly and really give it a good coat. So that's okay. I'm going to let it be a very subtle, a very subtle kind of graduated um, gradient of colors. So I'm onto the red there, and I'm kind of mixing it into the or into the yellow and the orange. And now I'm going to peel those leaves up. And because the clay is still pretty wet, it does have some, the edges are a little bit craggly, but I'll clean those up later when the slab dries out a little bit. And once you peel those up, you can see those really cool patterns that, that the resist, you know, leaving those leaves on there as I painted. Um, left there, just left the clay raw, which is really cool. And that'll look nice too and very fall because this clay is um, is a brown color. So once I fire it to cone six, it'll have that kind of speckled look too. Now I have this extra piece of slab that I'm gonna roll some leaves onto and paint as well. I'm just gonna use this. I'm gonna uh, cut it into a circle and poke some holes in it and make a little I don't know little something to hang on the wall or I don't know but I just wanted to use up that extra piece of clay. So I'm just putting those leaves all over it. And because these are the same ones that I used for the first slab, they have some underglaze left on them. So they'll actually apply a little bit of underglaze when I roll them onto this piece of clay. And I'll peel those up carefully. I have that little pointy knife thing and that's helping me get the the corner of the leaf so I don't um, hit the clay with my fingernail or smush it or something trying to get the leaf up. And I'm just taking some acorns and rolling those in there too. And then I'll grab a lid from some sort of uh, pro food product, you know, we have all those containers everywhere and I'm just going to use this lid as my stencil. And the camera's out of focus. And I gotta be kind of careful popping that out because it got stuck in there. And I'm just gonna trim the edges off because it 
I was a little uneven. So I trimmed those edges off. I'm sorry, the camera's still out of focus. There we go. And once I get those edges trimmed off, I'm going to use a piece of straw, a plastic straw, to cut the holes in it. And then, yeah, maybe I'll hang it on the wall or, you know, hang it outside somewhere. I don't know. We'll see. And I'm putting the lid back, the lids back on the underglaze. Very important, ladies and gents. All right, now I have this uh, plate mold. It's a rectangular shape. And I'm going to set the clay in there, the slab onto it, and then I'm going to kind of drop it so that it slumps into it. And I'm going to cut those edges off, trim the edges off of it. And I'm doing a little bit of a wiggle cut because I want it to be a little more organic. I don't want it to just be a, a straight edge necessarily because I, you know, my it's a plate with leaves on it and fall colors, so I want it to be have an organic edge instead of a really sharp, um, clean, geometric edge. And as I cut some of that clay away from the edges, um, and when I pick it up and drop it again, it'll slump. It'll slump a little farther into the mold because I cut some of that excess clay away from the edge. And there's the plate there, all finished. And I'll just dunk this in clear when it's ready to go, and it'll be beautiful. And thanks everybody for watching. Stay safe and stay inspired.